Hey everyone, it's Cast a Spell, and today I'm doing a video about bone readings. And not necessarily bone readings, but reading your bones. And being able to find your bones, or really your bones finding you. Like when I started even on the journey of bone reading, my bones came to me. Like I did not have to look far at all. And when I started um, the beginning of it, it was a beautiful journey because, the, like I said, the bones came to me. I got to understand the bones by getting to know them. They all had they all had moments where they came in at certain times, in certain periods, and they took on that personality of that situation. Like they all came at the perfect time, and each piece has their own saying. Like when you talk about divination, um, it's about what resonates with you. Like niggas in the Congo were reading uh, Crowley shells, you know what I mean? They were reading sticks and Native Indian, uh, Native Indians were reading sticks, you know, and feathers and fetishes from, like, uh, from a fetish jar. So there's many different types of divination, tea leaf reading, you know what I mean? But it has to resonate with you. So what brought me to Bones was I love dealing in the realm of death. I love dealing in the realm of decay because without death there is no life and vice versa. You need both, but for life to manifest, death must have already been there. Chaos must have already been there is what I'm trying to say. And in that realm of darkness, I found blunt truth. I found all truth. I found all lies. So I, that's what the entity was for that I created. I created an entity for my bone, uh, my all my divination, really. All of it. And what she brought forth was the manifestation of the reading like she brought forth what needed to come through she was like a portal energy for my divination um i have to show you guys her one day like she's a beautiful i made her out of sticks i made her out of Apollo, and I fucking love this bitch she's the head entity overlooking the entire realm of divination for my shit anywho like when my bones did come to me um I got to learn their personality and really really easily it's not hard to learn their personalities it's about taking your physical out of it when you can take your physical out of it you can listen to these bones and your pieces a hell of a lot easier like meditate with a piece take it with you um, talk to it you could do a ritual for your piece give it space to come through give it space like talk to them you're not dealing with the peace mind you you're not dealing with the peace you're dealing with the spirit that comes through through that peace you're dealing with the spirit of that peace but it's just a portal for you to actually deal with the spirit so when that piece lands on a particular thing on your board or when this card is flipped like you're dealing with the spirit who has something to say through that card so that's who you want to deal with and that's how you want to deal with it is in spirit you don't want to do this any other way. You don't want to do this from a physical perspective. So your physical is not the starting point when reading anything. You're dealing with this all in spirit. And you're manifesting what's coming through through your physical, through the physical pieces of divination. But you're dealing with this all through spirit. But the key thing with any piece of divination is to be honest. You have to be fucking honest in everything that you're reading. The more you're dishonest with yourself reading the shit, the more dishonest your cards are going to be towards you. Cause it's, or your, any piece of divination. The moment you read yourself dishonestly and you know you see truth in that shit, don't expect shit to just flow for you the way you think. Don't lie to yourself in this shit. Your divination is being honest because it expects you to be honest as well. Treat it with respect. Treat your tokens with respect. But really, treat the spirit behind it with respect. And if you need a different perspective on how to read any uh, kind of divination for yourself, create a spirit for it. Really, the spirit's already been there. You're just creating the name for it. But you, this is the part where you get into self. This is the part where with the things that you're conjuring have already been there, but they have, they have been overlooked or they have been ignored. And now you're placing a name on it. When Adam came to the garden, he named them niggas. They were already there. But he gave them a name and that gave them a purpose. So understand your spirit point, your spirit point of view. Because your spirit point of view is where you want to work through. The more you lessen yourself from that point of view, the more everything is going to be lessened for you. So just pay attention to how you're going about it, how you're starting it. Your physical is not doing the job per se. It's doing the manifesting. 
Okay, so you're working through spirit. You're working from spirit, excuse me. You're working from spirit. So don't start in this mundane point of view. Don't start in this mundane perspective. This goes to all types of divination. Like this makes sense in all types of divination. And, and if you guys are interested in working more on your craft and refining your craft, visit me at a Coke Corner Store. Subscribe to the Cast of Cast a Spell at a Coke Corner Store because that's where I like to work on craft. That's where, because your craft is very intimate with yourself. Okay, you want to refine your own. That's what makes it powerful. And that's what I have this whole cast for. So if you guys want to be a part of it, please be sure to visit me at a cold corner store. Bye, guys.